Yo, what's good guys? Welcome to another episode of Redefine Gospel Sounds with myself, Success. Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are well. Hope you guys are blessed. Even as the temperature begins to drop, hope you guys are still blessed. Just wrap up. You can still be blessed even though you're cold. Today, we have a very special episode. I say this pretty much every episode now, but um, this one is really special. Really excited. We've been excited. And um, yeah, I can't wait to hear what we're going to get. So, introducing... Get ready for. We've got Ash in the building, guys. Woo! Yes, guys. Yeah. Come. Um, yeah, cool. So, intro, how are you? You can't say good and you can't say blessed. That's our rules here. Bro, um, I'm wonderful. Nice. I'm cool. Wonderful. I'm cool, wonderful. cool, 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 cool. What have you, you, you been up to this week? As this general, week? Is, we been, like, yeah, we've got, it's been got to catch up. This week, I've um, had another interview this week. Mm -hmm. Studio back to back. I got in at four o'clock this morning yeah um obviously that, we were speaking um just yes. off air about you kind of just bouncing about and everything but like do you want to tell people like what, what's it been like in terms of we'll get into <clears throat> project stuff later but in terms of getting back into the swing of things and that i you know what it's just a different kind of busy like yeah. so even though i was in brum i was at, um going around making this whole nft thing about because we're about to launch it's getting real hectic and Obviously, I've been busy in Brom. So when I came to London, I don't know why I thought I was on holiday. I'm definitely not on holiday. I learned yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday, I learned that, yo, this thing can <laughs> still happen. Because I literally, I was on the way out and another artist walked in and she was like, oh, yo, like, let's work. And I'm like, yeah. I forgot. That. <laughs> I forgot that this is what the, the, this is what studio life is like. So yeah. I was like, you know what? All right, cool. So that was Tamira. Yeah. Um, so we went to do some work upstairs with a um, producer called Fumes. Yeah. And I ended up leaving at half four and got in at five thirty something. So you're you're running on a like four hours sleep. Literally. 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 Fair's man, you're looking you're looking on four hours sleep, you're looking better <laughs> than me. So fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. No, we are gonna play a game, an extra one. Ha ha ha, surprise. Um, <laughs> and it's just around seven, we'll get into it later, but it's just mm. I couldn't give it a name, unfortunately again. I just yeah, it's better to not give a name than have a cringy name. So we're not gonna have a name. Um, and it's going to be time based. So, for example, I could give you seven things that are seven things that are your bugbears, and you'd have to go. I don't oh, like what, this. Sorry? Your bugbears, things that you don't like, things that annoy okay. you. So, like da 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 da. But it won't be as like thing as that. It will literally okay. be easier. So, okay. but I'm gonna. I'll hold my hands up like this year. So just so that we don't get any like free gazy answers. Like I'm gonna. Okay. Cool. 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 All right. So first thing is seven things that you like to eat. Seven things I like to eat. Mm -hmm. Pizza, I'm not supposed to. Chicken, um, pasta, tuna melt. I don't even want to put a finger up for that <laughs> because what? <laughs> um, we'll talk about um, that later. Don't worry. Um, ah, oh, you egg and cheese sandwich. Yeah. Okay, that was normal. So you didn't like the tuna melt, but the egg and cheese was normal. It's easier to pro it's easier to process than tuna funny melt. Still. <laughs> it's easier to process than tuna melt. And what number are we on? We're on five. Okay, I've got two more. Um, what else I like? Oh, I like corn. Yeah. On a cob. Yeah. Yeah. And what else? Oxtail. Fez. Fez. We're getting a bit shaky there in the middle with a tuna melt and that, but you don't like okay. tuna melt. No. You don't eat tuna though, it? I'm guessing. Um, it's not that I've you haven't had the proper tuna melt. Pro I'm not talking about the ones from the shop. I'm talking about the homemade thing. It's not. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're gonna have to fit me on. You're gonna have to fit me on. That's fine. No worries. Hi. Next, we're gonna go for seven brands that you like to shop at. All right, that's cool. Um, so I'm gonna go for. Wait, did I start here? Yeah. Felipe, Remy, um, El Trio. Um. Hmm. For my jeans, I'm a diesel man. I like diesel. Um, I like River Island as well. I throw that on there. <laughs> no shame. <laughs> you could do it. Yes. Um, um, Nike. That's my. That's a very much. I was wondering if you were gonna say Nike or not. Just in general, because I thought it's I, so you know, it's, I'm gonna put Air Forces on there as well because that by itself is a shopping list. Because the price. Hey. No. No. In fact, <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yes. Um, and one more. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Ooh, flannels, I like flannels. Yes. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Um, next is seven countries that you'd like to visit at all, if you could. I got kicked out of geography, so here we go. Um, 
Maldives, Japan. I want to go back to my home country, which is Montserrat. Um, Jamaica again. Um, somewhere in Spain. Um, mm, I was gonna say something crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say something like Russia, but now nah, I'm not, <laughs> definitely not going to Russia. Um, uh, Sweden. Um, I want to go to Scotland. That's so, but you could have gone already. Yeah, Scotland no. is such a. You have monster right there. You now got Scotland. <laughs> it's you don't you realize what that how that looks like, right? But fair though. Do you know what I mean? Nigeria is because it's so it's a five that's that's a five hour drive. No, it's something crazy like that. Yeah. So that to me is that's a flight. Fair. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? No, I hear that. I hear that. I'm on, I'm with you on the Sweden one because that's Scandinavia, Sweden, Norway. Them. I want. Yeah, yeah, I want to yeah. go. I want to see how they. I want to see how they're living. Okay. Cool. <laughs> um. Next. Uh. Is seven things that rhyme with Ash. Okay. Cool. Go. Cash. Smash. Lash. <laughs> Dash. Um. Nyash. Um. <laughs> um. Bash. Have you said that already? Can we verify? Have you said that? Okay. I've said it. Bash and. Gash. Fez. Nice. Yeah. Pull it, pull it through. Ooh, next, um, this 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 is this one is just how quick you can just list them through. Seven fast food brands. Go. Fast food. Yeah. Burger King, Chicken Kitchen. No, because you looked over. <laughs> New one. Um, Dixie's, uh, Morley's, Sam's. This guy's bare moving bare niche. <laughs> um, bare niche. Nando is that Nando's fast food? Mm, VAR. <laughs> <laughs> VAR. Can we go to the monitor? <laughs> Is that not fast food? Oh, we'll let it run. We'll let it run. We'll let it run. Okay, cool. Um, how much you got? Five. Five. Okay. Uh, Some big ones you've missed off still. Uh, McDonald's. Yeah. Uh, KFC. There's cool. Um, <laughs> the, <laughs> next. I don't work under pressure. <laughs> <laughs> We're seeing it. <laughs> We're seeing it. <laughs> cool. Next. Um, seven artists that you're you're liking right now, just in general, can be. Uh, Drake, Ed Sheeran. Um, J Huss always. Um, mm, snap. Damn. Like, it's because I'm trying to think of one specific. Yeah. I can't remember her second name. She's a gospel artist, Naomi. Naomi Rain. Rain? Yes, thank you Fairs. so much. Yes, wonderful. Um, you ain't giving him that kind of help again, though. <laughs> um, yeah, cool. What's that for? Four. Kai, I do listen to music. Why am I moving? Why am I moving like that? Um, M. Honcho. Yeah. Um, J. Five. He's an artist. Yeah, you know. He's, he's, he's. Hey, again. Come on, though. Yeah, but it's like okay for the purposes of cool, 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 cool. Yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah. Okay. Cool. Nice. <laughs> Come. I let I let you off. We're, we're we're done past that one. Um, seven projects. You've kind of touched on it briefly elsewhere, mm -hmm. but do you want to talk about like why the project is called that? Relevant mm -hmm. significance, then yeah. Um. Well, basically, seven is comes from well how it came about. It was mm -hmm. in the studio. I was with my manager. Mm -hmm. Um. We're sitting there. Was thinking of names. Couldn't think of nothing. And I thought, hold on, can can I call it a number? He was like, yeah, you can do what you want. I was like, seven. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, what does that mean? I'm like, it's because of the at a period of time. I felt like God was trying to talk to me and relate this number to me um, through different people um, that was um, coming up to me and speaking to me within mm. the church. And so I went to go read, obviously, Genesis, and I was like, okay, seventh day. I yeah. know I know there's seven, there's seven days, there's a significance. Yeah. So in terms of completion at that point, it starts from like, so the whole EP, a lot of people don't know this, but from one, two, three, four, five, down to six, that I was like, I was angry. Do you get what I mean? I was very, I was actually upset. Do you know what I mean? And a lot of things that were coming out is because I was venting. So this whole EP was me venting. Yeah. So Seven, which is me closing it off which, with On My Own, mm -hmm. which is yeah. the last track. Yeah. I said, okay, this is me done with leaving that. Leaving it. I'm leaving it. So for me, it was completion. Yeah. But then the second revelation I got was rest. And I thought, you know what? I'm, I'm going to, I'm gonna get into this yeah. rest thing, like yeah. rest my mind, my thoughts. Come, I'm the I'm the overthinker. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I think that was a that was like that's the main meat of seven. Are you used to resting? 
That's oh, and get, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> rest is not my. I've never. You know what it is in my head. This is the thing. I like rest to me was a was a little boy thing. Yeah. In my head, I'm thinking because I'm a big man. Yeah. Well, because I want to feel like a big man. Hey. I dropped my phone. <laughs> <laughs> now, because I want to feel like a big man at the time, I was trying. I was seeing rest as our oh, rest is for the week or rest is to. But no, 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 no. Trust me. Has somebody told you that and like you've internalized it, or is that just is that you've always just what kind of it seen was, it rest like it that? It was like it was like sermon after word after conversation after me, and everyone's just talking about rest. Yeah. And I'm thinking, what's going on? And literally, God said to me, "Yo, you haven't caught the revelation what I'm trying to tell you." And you know, from then it was the best. Ex- till now, I know how to rest. And I thank God for that because I'm like, I did not know before. How do, how do you rest? Like, what does rest look like for you? Rest for me is, it could be spending time with God or doing something that I enjoy by myself or chilling with my family. Something that doesn't require me to move from where I am. Yeah, <laughs> It's me here in this moment. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that could mean going out with my family and I'm still resting because I'm enjoying here. I'm not thinking about anywhere else. Yeah. I think as well, even to add on that, like in terms mm-hmm. of being present in the moment, like, it's mm-hmm. super, super important. Mm-hmm. And I think because we're all here and it's like, oh my gosh, we've got to go here, do this, do this, mm-hmm. grand this, do that, do that. It's like, before you know it, there's X amount of time that's passed and you're like, oh, where, what's happened? Like, what have I done kind of thing? Yeah. And all the things that, you know, you probably might have had up before is, oh my gosh, these are banners of like what I've done as I've gone about and I've, I've grinded. Like, mm-hmm. you kind of, not that they're worthless, but they kind of hold less meaning as the time has passed. And mm-hmm. it's like, cool, what memories have I made? Like, what do I have to kind of like mm-hmm. show for it? Like, what m- what memories can I even remember? Do you get, yeah, what, do you get what I mean? Yeah, and yeah, I think yeah. that's super, super important. Um, but on on the e- on the EP side of things, mm-hmm. listen, obviously we, we, we had the pleasure of, of listening in before. Oh. And <laughs> at the top, when, when, you said, when you came and you're like, oh yeah, I hope you not enjoy it. I said, ha! I said, we're going to enjoy it though. I said, I know you're being cheeky for that as well. You're being cheeky. You are being cheeky, but that's okay. I'll, I'll actually allow you because, um, because no, obviously very solid, solid stuff. Um, to kind of start it off, coming in, did you feel pressure from the perspective of, you know, this just being like your name on it? Obviously, you know, we haven't got kind of like mm-hmm. the lot of boys on it, and it or like tag on it anymore and things like that. So with it just being you, like, did you feel a sense of pressure there? Um, somewhat, yeah, but that's, I that came from myself. Mm. Like no one around me made me feel pressured or anything like that. Mm. It was literally just me and yeah. my own thoughts, yeah, overthinking and stuff. But um, other than that, pressure, like making the songs, like most of these songs are, if I'm honest, like mad old. Like, so I've literally went to go collect the songs that in the period of time where I felt like, even though I was angry, I still gave a message in it. And these are the songs. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean, it just. Yeah. Happened to be seven. Okay. Yeah. You've even brought that up again, so I'm even gonna touch on that. Mm-hmm. What kind of things were making you angry at that time? Um, my the season that I was in was very much you know like when you're about to do something like great, you have to go through like uncomfortableness. Mm. For example, like at that point, like if a before a woman births a baby and it's a beautiful experience, there's nine months of uncomfortability. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So I was in a very uncomfortable period and I felt like at the time I'm like, yo, what have I done? I'm like, I've just been here and everything is just crashing. I'm thinking, what have I done? Do you know what I mean? And I didn't know how to handle it. I went through anxiety. I couldn't believe it. I was in hospital three days a week. I said, bro, this is ridiculous. And that was a whole nother battle by Mm. itself. And that lasted like two and a half years. Mm. You get what I mean? So... All that time I was upset and then after going counselling, I was like, whoa, time for me to take some accountability because no one told me to stay. <laughs> yeah. It's just I'm just being real. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And you have to assess your situation and assess like, yo, I'm in this situation. Am I helping? Am I aiding? Am I um disturbing? What am I doing? Not whatever else is doing. Yeah. So I was like, nah, I'm gonna take my own accountability and hash it out with myself and yeah. me and God will go on this journey and I'm caught the other side. <laughs> Even with that as well, because you spoke of yourself as somebody that used to, you know, see rest and let's just kind of brush it. Yeah. And then, you know, there's you kind of getting checked into counselling. Mm-hmm. So in that time, how did you feel about that? Like, yeah, internally? Heading into counselling was like 
the most triggering experience um, ever because man, I'm thinking, oh, you know, counseling. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, a lot of men feel like they don't need counseling. I definitely because we feel like. Well, let me not say we before you. There's a couple men in here. <laughs> let me say I. I feel like for me at the time, I was like, why do I need counseling? I'm I'm good by my, I'm good by myself. Yeah. I don't you think I need to figure things out? I'm cool. Yo, when I went there, the first the first day, because um, I went to a guy um, called Antonio Henry, and he was talking to me, and he said, you just jotting things down, so I wrote a couple of things down. And as I'm viewing my issues on the paper, I'm thinking... <laughs> what, was it looking, looking a bit big? <laughs> I'm thinking, yo. And then he asked me a question, like, where it hit me, he said to me, what do you enjoy doing? I said, uh, studio. He said, aside from work, what do you enjoy doing? I said, he said, exactly. I said, the fact that you don't, the fact that he, he said, the fact that you don't even know what you like, what makes you happy, what takes you to a place of enjoyment. This is probably why you're going through what you're going through. And I said, mm. oh, things are a bit triggering, yeah. <laughs> but um, I had to, I had to humble myself and yeah. go through that stuff. That was, I was actually mad that you said that as well because somebody that I know, he said that you know, sometimes when people introduce themselves, it's like, hey, um, I'm success and I do a podcast, I study, I do this, this and this. But it's like, they're not asking you for like what you, they're literally just asking like on you kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people always do that. And that's even, it's even identity <laughs> crisis in, yeah, a, in, yeah. a, in a kind of way. Nah, um, yeah, so even, even for you as well, was that, would you say then that that's representative of you perhaps not being able to split yourself from like, you know, as the person, as the artist, like, mm. where was that? Where did that kind of conflict fit in? Um, well, definitely, I think, um, I think not being able to separate it, I got highlighted in counselling mm. and therapy. And I was like, yo, this thing, you know, after that first session, I was thinking, yo, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to come back. Because <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like, I don't even know what to do now. Like, yeah. So as I kept speaking to him, like it got better. We did a coaching session. Like it was nuts. Like I had to go in the middle of a um, like an estate where people are living. Right. The builders are working, and he wanted me to shout so that somebody that was on top of a roof yeah. could hear me. In my mind, I'm thinking this guy's mad. He had, he asked me these things that make. So he told me to write down a few things that make up who the better version of myself would be. So I wrote like I am um, strong. I'm 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 strong. Um, this, um, that, all these positive manifestations, mm. as people call them. But then, I had to shout them. And when I got to the point of, it took me about thirty-five, six to forty times to actually get to that point where I was. There's like a thin layer of like between you being almost confident in yourself and yeah. forcing it. Yeah. But sometimes you have to force it. You do have to force it. Do you get what I'm saying? And then when you hit that, yo, nothing. I started laughing because I was like, nothing can stop mm. me now. Because I've done it. The embarrassment has gone out the window. I've done it. You yeah. see what I mean? And I was so gassed. And I knew I did it to the point where he's hit me. He's like, yo, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I felt free. Mm. I felt free. And when I sat in my car, driving back, I said... Bro, I don't even, I feel like I don't know where I am. Yeah. I said, all of this, I've been missing out on for a conflict between me and my identity. Mm. Crazy, never me again. <laughs> never me again. And it's like, it's funny you've said that in the way that confidence for me sometimes, you have to force it sometimes because it's like, it's a, it's kind of almost like a muscle that you exercise. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's like, the more that you say, oh my gosh, like I'm actually good at this or like, you know, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. happy with myself, even <clears> as you, <throat> you know, done the counts and done the different things you now get to a place where it's like okay you actually start to believe your own hype and then you do believe your own hype and mm -hmm. people can see that people feed off that and it's mm -hmm. but it starts with you in the sense that like everybody and i'm sure people have everyone around you can say like oh my gosh that you're the because you're the matter but mm -hmm. it's like if you yourself yeah. are not exercising that it's like a personal trainer can take you to gym <laughs> but if you're not gymming yeah. there's nothing that's coming of it nothing. so you you definitely you definitely kind of have to exercise that in your own right mm -hmm. um and i hear and I, I can see even in terms of where you are now and yeah. and what we've what we what we what we've heard um on the EP is that that, that confidence that is showing through which which is <laughs> which is great um and the confidence kind of fed in hand in hand with the versatility that we saw like on the project so, so do you feel like in terms of you being able to you know 
make it and, and, and do those things by yourself, did you feel a bit more freed in terms of the sounds you were able to make? Because I know that, you know, when you sat with um, ZZ, um, you mm -hmm. kind of spoke about, you know, back in the day when he, he put out songs that, like, that he forced and stuff like Yo. that. So... <laughs> Uh, you know what it is? I'm glad that I can definitely... It's, it is freedom, so... I yeah. Sometimes I just listen to the tunes I'm making. I can't be imagine happy with what I'm making. <laughs> this is crazy. But you know what it is? I feel like a lot of times, like, when you go in to do something, like, always ask yourself, who was there when you was... when you Before you hit that peak, like... So, for, I had to think, who was there when I was making No Dance? Mm. And it was no one but me and Amos. You know what I'm mm. saying? Or who was there when you was doing Bad Girls? Me and Amos. When he's doing unfinished business, me and Amos. Do you get what I mean? Shout out to Amos as well. Legendary Shout on the out. keys and the producing. But yeah, um, yeah, man. Um it made me it just made me it took me back to the time. I'm thinking, yo, I get to I get to be yeah. hands on. Oh, this is yeah. nice. Do you get what I mean? So even in Shido yesterday, I was jumping around, he's like, oh, man, I'm saying, yo, I'm just excited. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know how, I mean? how much of an active hand did you have in terms of like deciding the kind of sounds of the album? Because obviously there's like kind of what people would describe as more drilly sounds on mm -hmm. there. Then you've got more like more throwback kind of sounds mm -hmm. on there. So like how much of an active hand did you have in terms of deciding those sounds and, and, and things like that? Yeah, everything, everything. There was there's not a song on there yeah. that I haven't like had some sort of like Input. influence. Yeah, in, I love you that. know what I mean? And the songs where I don't, I'll just <laughs> yeah right in a bit man is that is that hard for you to do now in terms of like your like final end like creative process in terms of what like, is it hard for me to let go yeah to let go of songs oh no 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 why cause like, because some people find that oh like you know should this one should be there this one shouldn't like oh like I like this but maybe I don't like it as much do you know what it is I always say to people yeah I feel like I don't see it as something's getting taken away I think the less I have is the more space I say this to everyone. The less I have is the more space for God to move. Yeah, that's my statement. Big man thing. So <laughs> when you when 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 this song when I'm thinking, oh, I'm like, don't worry, God, you know you can yeah. give me an experience that can give me a better song. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So in terms of letting go, but ha is that easy? Like, have you always? Do you find that easy now? Have you always easy now? Like, yeah, 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 definitely. It's definitely easier now mm. in terms of. Um, it's because of. Like who am I trusting? Yeah. Before, uh, before I never used to let go of nothing. <laughs> That's why you heard bad songs come out. Because <laughs> even though the, I knew there was bad, I was thinking I can't let it go. There's lyrics on there. Yeah. Never again. <laughs> yeah. No. I think to be fair, I think with things like that as well, I always find that it can be a control thing in terms yeah, of like, yeah, you know, yeah. you want to feel like you've got the handle on things. And yeah. that's why when things happen or like when, for example, you miss a train or something, you're a bit annoyed, but really and truly, you shouldn't really be annoyed because it's like, when, I think when you realise that there's A, things that are out of your control and then B, things that are just good, it's like, it's different. Yeah, so it's yeah, like, yeah. cool, <laughs> you stress over the things that you can control, you can try and control them best you can and then it's like, cool, God kind of just, God even takes the God takes the control and no he problem. does what he needs to do. So it's no like, I, I, I like, I, I like, I like that in that sense. Um, oh la la. We have to, we have to, we have to speak about that. We have to speak about that. Um, obviously, that was you. That was you. That was We Want Race. That was Millions. That was mm -hmm. AOD mm -hmm, as well. Mm -hmm. um, so what was that like? Obviously, you've been with Millions before and, um, you know, with how many times and stuff. But yeah. in terms of linking up with him again for that song and, and all those guys, what was it like in terms it of the process? It um, was because um, at the time we was, we was at a camp for Top Boy Pants, mate. <laughs> it was, <laughs> it was at a um, camp, camp for Top Boy and... Um, so I was making tunes, so I was in and out of different rooms and stuff like that. Um, and that was one of the songs that actually was in there. So, um, unfortunately, it didn't make it on Top Boy, mm. but I was happy with this album. Yeah, hey, yeah, we'll take, we'll take so, that. I'll take that. But, yeah. Um, so, yeah, it was very organic, man. It was, um, so Sykes and AOD, I think, made that beat. And then um, I saw Millions. And then I saw Rafe and I said, yo, what room are you in? <laughs> and we just ended up in the same room. And that's how the song came about. It, was, it wasn't nothing. It wasn't a holler and insta. It wasn't nothing like that. Just the same right place, right time. Yes. And then with that, is there equal waiting? Or in terms of like, you know, when you guys have come together, how does it work in terms of agreeing, you know, what sounds best where? Like, do you find that there's pushing and pulling? Like, is that mm. is that easy for you to, to decide? When there is, because I've had it before with other artists, but not with Minions or Rafe. 
Mm. It was easy. It's easy. Because I, I said, oh, this is what I want on my bit. They said, this is what they want on their bit. And makes everybody okay, everybody all right. And then that was it. Yeah. <laughs> it was actually easy. It was yeah. like, no hassle. Yeah. Go on. I love that. <laughs> Shall we? Um, and as well, um, with the EP, mm-hmm. I got the sense of, and it's good that you've even said that now, because mm-hmm. what I was going to follow up with is, there was a sense of like frustration that I felt just in general, like heavy, heavy being black frustrated. Like, <laughs> I just, I'm gonna say it how I, I'm gonna say it how I heard it. Yeah, like, yeah. It's just a very, very like heavy sense of frustration <laughs> yeah. just in terms of whether that was friendships that that like let you down, whether that was things that you were still holding within you. Mm-hmm. Um, so how do you look on these things now as a as opposed to you know that time back then? Um, now because I've let because I've let go of it, I'm like. It had to happen. Yeah. I mean, it had to happen for me to experience me. Mm. And I have no problem with going through that now. Yeah. You know what I mean? At the time, I was vexed. I was like, you snakes. Yeah. You rabbits. <laughs> I don't even know what name to call them. I was going to <laughs> just call them rabbits. You rabbits. I don't even know. I even like rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get me? But um, now, nah, at the time, I, I know I was frustrated. I was definitely. But at the time, I was thinking, yo... As I said on this easy meals thing, I was definitely I was trying to find someone to blame. Yeah. Cause I couldn't believe that this thing that is paying me so well, that's giving me confidence, is about to disappear. And I'm thinking, I don't want to lose all of that. Yeah. But that's why I was clinging on to dear life. Yeah. But yeah. If it weren't for that, I wouldn't be here. So but yeah. Frustration sounds good on songs in my life. It does. <laughs> I, I, I didn't want to be the one to say it, but <laughs> fairs. Fest. Trust me, I feel like bare people make their best like music. Even like you know when somebody breaks up, uh, you, when Drake is, you knew, you knew that you were gonna get. <laughs> oh my gosh, we've had some all timers from his heartbreak. So, <laughs> Trust bro, me. sorry about that, but oh yo, we, we've had, we've had some. Um, how do you find forgiveness now? Um, Forgi- yeah, that's not. It's not easy. Yeah. Um, but forgiveness now, I don't know it. It was something I had to pray about because I didn't understand why I couldn't forgive people. Yeah, you know I mean, I didn't didn't get it um but then i realized that forgiveness is an it's an action so in terms of you can forgive someone your mouth oh yeah no, I forgive yeah. Them. and when you see them you, yeah you're, you're just, your you're muscles just stop like this nah you just think wait what <laughs> you get me you thinking Bro. you thinking where's this super saiyan coming from yeah but now it's it's a matter of as i said you know like how you that space where you force into yeah. the confidence is forcing into, into the, the forget- forgiveness <laughs> Yes, yes, <laughs> we're on the money. We're on the money because I think people, especially Christians, like you know, with the forgiveness thing, is that you know, we're here and you know, we're just caught to love and just forgive in this <laughs> yeah. space. And it's just not that easy, yeah, it's, not. it's just not easy. Like, for example, if you walk somewhere and you're seeing that person, it's like you're gonna feel away, but again. As with confidence being something you exercise, forgiveness is also something that you yeah. actively exercise yeah. to say, yo, like nobody said that you have to be their their best bestie yeah, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, like man. nobody said you have to do that. But it's like, you know, <coughs> exercising that forgiveness to say, okay, I'm gonna meet you, I'm not gonna feel away, gonna meet you, not gonna feel away. After a certain number of times, yes, you're still not gonna love them, but like yeah, you're gonna yeah. find naturally you're like, oh, like, why am I not like why am I not trying to put my muscles up anymore? Like, why am yeah, I not feeling yeah, that kind yeah, of way? Yeah, yeah. And it's good. And I think we say this all the time. With forgiveness but just the whole facts of like that thing is on you when they walk in the room is you the, you're the one that's feeling something but not them like you're the one that's proper like yeah, holding yeah, on to yeah. it so it's like the ability to just like let go is like it's actually priceless it's yeah, actually yeah. proper, proper priceless and definitely isn't it no it's, it's something that i think that we no we should just take more note of i really nah, think that we should <laughs> i agree man. um for me i think my personal personal favorite on my own to kind of round it off mm-hmm. um that that one is powerful just in the sense of like you know we have your mum mm-hmm. at the end mm-hmm. um and we've got like prayer of jabez and like in yeah. terms of biblical connotations like mad one yeah. um but like if you want to just touch on like the impact of you know family like your mother's prayers because that oh. even as i even as you know as i was i just said yeah cool even i was yeah let me have some of that because it's like you know there we heard kind of a prayer for grace we heard a prayer for multiplication for protection like all these things that are just like just super important and we mm-hmm. obviously got that sense that you know we had your faith weaving through the whole thing and it mm-hmm. was just such a nice title for the end so mm-hmm. yeah if you want to talk about that um what um what do you know how it came about you want everything, everything. Okay, no everything. all right Take a shoot, just calm down, just get relaxed. It's about to be a long time. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be that long. Um, so basically what um, happened with, well, in, in terms of family and stuff, like my mom is my, like she's the person that, I know she's up at 5 a.m. in the morning. You know when you hear her just shouting, <laughs> yo, what's, 
what's going on downstairs? Bro, that's all of us though. Ah, uh, but like, uh, God bless her, man. Um, and in my family on the whole, like, obviously everyone now in my family, me, my dad, little bro, um, my mom, everyone's saved. Thank God. Um, and it's just nice to see that I've got like a supportive family that pushed me in that way. Um, especially like, but as I said, my mom is a, she's a, she's a, oh, she's a prayer warrior, man. Yeah. I mean, I feel like a lot of moms are prayer warriors. You know, it's, just walking up and down Do you know what it is? Because when I was younger, yeah, <laughs> I'll be real. I was like, yo, my aunt, aunt, like, aunt, you're doing too much. Like, <laughs> like, you know what you're just hearing them? Like, you're not, you've not even, it's not even just been like 10 seconds. You've just risen. And you just, da, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, come on, like, come on, guys. But obviously, uh, as you got older, like, you probably gained that, like, the importance of like, okay, cool. They're it it hits you when business. it's your turn. Yeah. You get me you're thinking, yo, I'm waking up at these times all the time and then you speak to someone saying this is the time you're supposed to be praying I said oh, that's, that's, that's. it's reminding me of my mom I'm thinking oh man mm. but um, yeah so um, at the time when I asked my mom to pray for me that was a prayer she sent um, out of boldness bless her heart um, and really and truly the, the whole song so basically I wrote one song um, one verse in 2019 or 20 and then I wrote the second verse in 2021 or 20, whichever one. 21, I think. It just happened like a year after a year. And it wasn't this year. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't like the whole duration of last year. If it was 2021. Yeah. In, in the lab, I think you said 21. In, it was like, yeah, it was yeah, like 2021. Yeah. So, them times. So, what happened was it was like, it was like, yo, how am I going to end this? Because I need it to be completed so I can move on. And I'm like, I don't feel like I've healed from this. So I asked my mom to pray for me. That was the prayer. Yeah. That made me deep life and say, yo, she chill out, man. Just trust God in it. Like, yeah. does like life's life's gonna happen. Life will always life. <laughs> nah, but God would always God. You know what I mean? Jig so, it, jig so it. literally, um, I realized at the time I'm like, yeah, man. I'm like, I, I need that prayer. My mom sent it to me. Yo, I was just crying my eyes out. That's why in the video, like, I couldn't. There's no way I could keep a straight face. You know, the first, we did, it was meant to be a one take, you know. I walked off on the first take. Do you remember I walked off early? I just walked off, I said, mm, the, prayer is, the prayer's about to come in and I'm like, yo, I need to get off before I, before I start just shedding. And there was like, bro, let's do it again. And don't, just stay there. Yeah. I was like, yeah, no problem, no problem. Gee, I held it for the vid, I was like, phew. Cause I know the prayers come. I know how I felt when the prayer was going on. Do you got know I me? Mean? Yeah. I know what I was going through, and see myself sit here, listen to that, have the memory and have the realism where I am now. I'm thinking, wow, how can I not? Yeah, do you get know what I mean. So, so in the video, you're like, you're like, <laughs> but Yo, I said, <laughs> fam, when I walked away, yay! Yeah. I'm glad they turned off the, <laughs> the Cause sound. The... Cause in the back, you were ah! <laughs> 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 no way. <laughs> Trust me, but yeah, man, that it's good to have family around me, man. So that's my my mom's um favorite thing to do. <laughs> no, so yeah, we felt that love from like the family, and then also like I guess the wider love in terms of on the documentary, in terms of like where you're from and all that mm -hmm. stuff. I know I did. You know that somebody's from Birmingham, yeah. and I've clocked this. You know that someone's from Birmingham when they're saying Brum. Cause all the non -Bram all the non Birmingham people is Bams. Yeah, Bams. <laughs> it's bad. That's how you know it. And that's how, so so so, bro. That's how we know it. And you know, in terms of speaking about how important your city was, so you know, we really got that through and things like that. Um, and something I found really interesting was that you said that you know there was a point that you so desperately wanted to leave the city, but mm -hmm. then you realized that you know you couldn't have got to London without it. So yeah. do you want to kind of just start uh, touch on that quickly? Cause... Yeah, I think. Um... Out of fear, really. I think because everything was getting on top, it was just loads of speculation, loads of hate, loads of drama. And I, I'm not a man for conflict, innit? You know what I mean? So I'm like, get me out of this place. That's what I was just thinking. Yeah. For like probably 10 people that probably really, really hate me for no reason. I mean, when yeah. there's how much other people that want to hone in on like, yo, we want to get to know you or we want to have you champion our city properly. So I was like, yeah, I need to... I need to fix up stuff. Yeah. Did you feel like as well, in terms of <laughs> you being at risk of being bigger than the city, if that makes sense? Like, did you feel like, oh, like, you know, 
just need space kind of vibe in that sense or in terms of me feeling like i was gonna be bigger or like, like just yeah, bigger than the city in terms of like you know something when you feel like oh, you outgrow a place I'll sometimes you. yeah nah it wasn't even that i just felt like i just felt like it was too much it was just too much at the time to handle mm. for me anyway mm. and it was just too much of it's just headache and you know, because like there's a lot of people around you, there's also a lot of people around them. Yeah. They have a lot of people around them. So not everyone's your cousin, your friend, and your yeah. auntie. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, Where did this happen? I'm so used to my private life. Yeah. That disrupted me, but mm. yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, on private. <laughs> <laughs> what's the most, <clears throat> in your opinion, what's the most underrated thing about Birmingham? The underrated, most underrated thing about Birmingham? Yeah. In your I opinion. Think I think boring is a bit underrated, you know. Sorry. Mm. Yes, now boring is a bit underrated. And also Mary Hill. See, no one knows about Mary yeah, Hill. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't know Port Royal. You're looking at me like... <laughs> yeah. Huh? I, I said I only know Port I thought you said you don't know No, 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 I do. Oh, please, no. I My say, class, bro, I can't scare you like that. <laughs> have you ever been? Yeah, yeah, I've been, I've been. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's lit, that's lit. Yeah. You sure? You sound a bit... Like... No, I have no... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I can't be more convinced. But no, I have so. I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, okay. I, I liked what I saw. But the other... What was the other place? Mary Hill. So yeah. Mary Hill is like another place. And it's the it's the place where you go when you don't want to go too busy in town. Yeah, you go there, but just don't go there around Christmas because mm. it's busy. Ah, you know I mean, so that's so. When do you, when do you how do you get your Christmas shopping done online? Christmas Amazon. Fairs. It's not on there. I'm sorry. Fairs. <laughs> don't ask me to order no um, too much liquids and stuff like that. Give me hard <laughs> books, bags, backpack, shoes, somewhat hats, anything. Yeah. Amazon, Amazon, Amazon. Amazon. All or nothing. All or nothing. All or nothing. Trust me. Fairs. Fairs. Um, also in the documentary, I liked you, the segment where you went back to the studio and where like, you know, no done, a lot of things were kind of made and stuff. And you were talking about the fact that nothing can, nothing, if things made in that studio couldn't be compared to anything else. And yeah, I just wanted, yeah, why, why is that? Because even now with the EP, there are certain sounds in terms of what you describe as probably more like, Afro Sungi kind of vibes that you kind of you were on yeah, back then, kind yeah. of trying to like you know bringing it through. Um, so yeah, in terms of the studio setup, like mm. yeah, what what is it about that place that you know? Do you know what it is? It's just freedom, man. It's just like I I would literally go in there, make a tune, and then I would step out, do what I want, and then go back in there. And it's just it's not time stamped. You don't have to pay for it. I was yeah. working there, so mm. I got it for free as well. Um, and Adam and Matt and. Bishop that was in the, that actually owns the the, yeah. the building and is the head of the church. He um him and his wife, Pastor Yvonne, like just open arms to me. He said, cool. Here you go. And I'm like, Yeah. This place is so nice. Oh no, nah, I haven't. Don't worry, I'm gonna give you back something. <laughs> yeah, I was just I was I was too I was too much in London, I forgot. Yeah. So that's why even when I went back there the other day, I was ge- like I generally had a moment. I was like, I need to come back here, what am I doing? Mm. Oh, I'm gonna go back. You wait to see what I make. <laughs> Trust me. Yeah. yeah, you you produce mm-hmm, as mm-hmm. well. So in terms of you making your music now, what's that like when you know you're collaborating with other producers? Like, if, for example, so what we hear on like the EP and stuff. Like, what's that dialogue like in terms of you know you? It's great, man. I think um, I think like songs that I make try out like for example motion yeah um i made that on my laptop and then i sent it to um i took it to tk i was like yo bro i need my drums ain't drumming in it <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> i'm like please bro my drums ain't drumming can you just drum yeah <laughs> <laughs> and he came in and he did like the 808s added some organ yeah we heard we heard yeah we heard yeah so yeah like it's it's just a lot of it's because i know what i like do you know what i mean and i know that as long as I hear this, 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 or I feel this, sorry, yes, as long as I feel this. Would you say that's the most important thing? Yeah, because mm. I'm not feeling it. It's probably, I'm probably just not, it's not going to happen. How can I make something I'm not feeling? Yeah. You know what I mean, so, yeah, man. Yeah, and I think even to bounce back in terms of um, the documentary and you um, talking through the people that, you know, helped you, like, as, as yeah. you're kind of coming through, they said, which I found kind of interesting, they you know, they knew what you had, but they didn't know that you'd kind of be at the level that you are now. <laughs> why? Why do you think they said that? <laughs> do you know what it is? Because I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little right in it. I'll, I'll be honest. Like, you know what it is? You look at me, you're thinking, oh, this guy is just so jarring. Back then, I was just, I was just, I'm just somebody. That I, you wouldn't, you can't take me seriously, and it. I'm not somebody that you look at and think, oh, I take him seriously. 
now you could yeah take me seriously <laughs> but really and truly back then you'd look at me and think i hear you yeah so i'm telling people oh, now nah, I'm, I'm gonna do this one day i hear you <laughs> but i don't know but yeah so did it take in that sense then did it take people to just believe in you or i think after the, i think they needed to see evidence mm-hmm. I, i'm not i'm not a, i'm not a, i'm not a sheep like i know I can understand that people need evidence sometimes to believe. Yeah. I mean, it's happened from the Bible days till now. <laughs> so that's what it is. In those early days, I love asking people this because mm-hmm. it just gives me a, a bit of a bit of insight. Mm-hmm. But as you were coming through, was there a point where you felt like, okay, cool, like I'm seeing God's hand in this thing? Or if you can think of it, or were you even yeah. aware like that? So I'll tell you that story. I don't even know if I've told you on camera yet. So what happened was I went to... So imagine me, I'm at the height of lot of boys, yeah? We've just, obviously, we've just um, left our other manager. So obviously, it was just me and Luke. Um, we, was, we both went to church that day. My reason for going to church went right, though. I'm going to be honest. I was, go- Yo. I was going to church because I wanted everyone to see me. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted them to see how well I was doing. That's bad, you know? Hey, I wanted them to see my chains, my teeth, my blue, my <laughs> shoes. Come see money. That's what I... Yo, <laughs> that day, the shock of my life. So I sat down, yeah. I was sitting that day. Yeah, you're there with, with one, one, side, one yeah, angle I'm like looking, that. I'm even looking, I'm thinking, what girls are here? <laughs> what new girls are in here? <laughs> now there's no one. So obviously I was sitting there. And bear in mind, my church is predominantly like Caribbean, in it? So no one, no one's really no one's really paying me no mind like that. And everyone's kind of bogus, but <laughs> in my head, I'm thinking, everyone is looking at me. So I was like this. Mm. I wasn't really listening. I was like this, and all I heard was, "Go home." Hey, me, I said. I started sitting up straight. I'm like, "Wait, as in that came from in the side of the church?" Someone, no. Oh, you just I heard you it. You just heard that, and I'm saying, "There's no way." I knew it was God, though. Yeah. I'm like, "I'm like God just told me to go home." I said, "I need to go home." I was even gonna run out of church and get my stuff from my my old manager's house and 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 and. Oh, sorry, not not even. We didn't leave our managers uh, at that time. I was still, we were still all in the house, but I had to get my stuff. I was like, God just told me to go home. So now I've looked up thinking, I'm overthinking, man. The pastor's yeah. probably, I've looked up, it's a woman. I said, hey, the voice ain't and a And it's a woman that I don't know. I've never seen in my life. She was a guest speaker that day. Mm-hmm. And I weren't going to church like that. So I didn't hear no announcements or nothing. I just mm-hmm. turned up, fam. <laughs> Ah, uh, I had a shock of my life. And then I said, I'm going to go up for prayer at the end. So at that time, she was talking about new beginnings as well, which is funny enough. She was talking about numbers as well. So then we got to, um, then we got to the end. I'm about to go up for prayer. And the woman says to me, wow. I mean, I'm thinking, what, wow? What, what do you mean, wow? She goes, you have a decision to make. So God is saying to me that you have a decision to make. And then she said, but I feel it in my heart that you're going to make the right one. Mm. Yeah, I started crying. Uh, but that day, it didn't matter what chain I was wearing, the price of my shoes, my jeans. Yo, I was up, you know, I was like, I was wearing a good five bags that day. <laughs> <laughs> First. You know what I mean? And bro, none of that mattered. None of that mattered because I'm like, God just told me to go and when I got my stuff, I went home. Funny enough, my mom, you know what's so mad? My mom got a prophecy before that saying that your son is coming back home. Did she tell did she tell she you told about me, at the time? She, she told she told somebody else okay. to bear witness on it. And when I came back, she was crying her eyes out. You get me? That's my GP, man. <laughs> Shout out to my mom, yo. Come on now. Trust me. But yeah, yo, that was the scariest experience. <laughs> I've ever had in my life. I don't want that again. <laughs> Yo. It's just, I'm just, even, I'm just even just sitting here, just picturing you just, and then just, just hearing that. So I would have. The way, do you know, I didn't sit that. I was, I was like this. Yeah. I didn't even know how to sit. I was thinking, <laughs> how do you sit after God just, God shouts at you? <laughs> I was just like. <sighs> Yo, even now I still get goosebumps because mm. I can vividly hear the voice. It's not a joke. Yeah. Ah. Uh, I thought, yeah, me. And you know, at the time, I, I weren't really, I didn't know what to believe. Like, I prayed, but I didn't really believe. What was in that, in terms of like, 
you, you just didn't kind of see your faith working necessarily or was it just that you were just you had you was like yeah i have it but it's just that do you know what it is there. i feel like so, so sorry let me rephrase i believed mm -hmm. i just didn't practice or show that i believed you know what i mean yeah and that's when i think what at the time it was it was like uh, i don't even put it i was just too i was my own god in my life mm. i had the control of everything that was that's just how it was mm. i was my own version of my own god i just controlled everything that was in my life which is a lie mm. <laughs> do you know what i mean but i felt like that do you feel like that that, that just tied in with like obviously as little <laughs> boys were like just picking up and then nah, it definitely or... tied in with little boys i think it's just it's just the gas just general i'm not a person that was really like like i was popular around like like girls in school were like it was more of a oh that's my g that's my friend <laughs> <laughs> that's my ah yeah i'm a victim of friends on stuff like, <laughs> but yeah so <laughs> <laughs> gotta charge it bro he's gotta charge it you get me so when they was just flowing in yeah me i was just <laughs> 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 yeah man i was like yep yep uh, yep yep but after a while like you know conviction yeah man it just wasn't working to the point where even like where like girls would even try and stay in our hotel or whatever. I'm letting them know. I said, yo, that ain't the case. I'm so mm. sorry. But just don't tell the man them because they might get onto it. Yeah. And they'll be like, oh no, that's fine. Oh. And I'll, <laughs> get them, I'll get them a taxi to wherever they need to go. I'll say, here you go. Just, I'm going. And they'll go. I'm thinking, every night, man. Something did this stupidness. Me, I'm hiding. But One day I said, I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> how come you didn't want the man them to know at that time? You know what, at the time it was pressure, man, because <laughs> Them not, them not, them not, them not a gal, them sugar in it, you know what I mean? Born and bred, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that's a born and bred. Born and bred, so it's hard, man. So, yeah, at the time, I was just, that's what I had to end up doing. Yeah. All the now, I don't even think some of them know. Yeah. I told probably like one of my friends that, Damn. yo, that was the case. But I told him in the midst of it happening, yeah. and I said, yo, and he was even like, oh, nah, bro, be true to yourself, and that's calm. Mm. You know what I mean? I was like, God bless you, man. <laughs> Conviction, that's not who I am still, so. That's right. Even as your face picks up now, do you still kind of roll with the same people? Or like, how does that fit? Because naturally, I'm guessing, you know, as you've kind of grown a bit stronger in terms of like, what you're practicing and stuff, mm -hmm. how you're moving and how Amanda, the man that we're moving might not necessarily be on mm -hmm. the same path all the time. So how did you kind of navigate that change? Um, I just asked, I just prayed about it really. I said, I don't even know what people's intention is for my life. So mm. you place the people around me. You want to be around me? And I just said, I'm not even getting in the way. I'm going to stay home. Let them, you know what I mean? So I've got one bedroom. I've got two bedrooms that my, like my right hands that shout me every day, more or less. Mm. And I've got, i still got some people from that section, like, um, um, there's a couple of guys, you know what I mean? But it's not, it's, we're not far, like we, we, we've always been yeah. together. So I would never even, I didn't class them as part of Lot Boys because I knew them before. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? Um, But really and truly, there's not much around, which is great. Like I'm more around like funny, I'm around good serious prayer warriors, apostles, pastors and all of that. I don't yo, know, you don't even know I don't even know where I'm heading, but <laughs> this is the people I'm around, so have you seen a have you seen a difference then in terms of the way that you're approaching even the way that you even approached the E P as opposed to like let's say well like four years ago, like is there a difference? Hundred percent. I feel like each EP, like everyone's gonna hear the trans. You're gonna hear the transition. Yeah. These songs are old and they're old. So exactly. even me now going studio today, this doesn't even sound like what I'm making anymore. Yeah. I've moved so far from this. Yeah. You all would laugh. Do you, <laughs> do you know what I mean? So far from this, but yeah. I might play something before as well. If there's a speaker. Oh no, that's speaker. That's speaker. That's speaker. Say the word. Say the word. Nah, that's cool. Um, and I think. The other thing is, do you feel like your faith actively allows you to see your music differently? Because I think we have this conversation sometimes on mm -hmm. certain episodes where it's like, with the spaces that you're moving in, not everybody's going to be what you're on in that sense. There's probably going to be, you know, distractions that, you know, you're going to have to kind of shield think from, you know, a little bit tunnel visioned in part. So like, how have you navigated that in terms of like your music and like where you are? I think, I think thank God for my team because they're, really like yo bro be who you are and i think that is that's the blessing i'm also all the madness that's going on mm. my team they've let me 
like bro if you want to like if this is what you you want to be if this is who you are then just be honest like we're down for that mm. and you we're managers and it like we'll manage what you give us mm. and i thought that was beautiful i said <laughs> yeah Shame, man did you, did, did you feel did you feel awkward though to like in terms yeah. of Definitely, because it's a big shift for them it as is, well. Yeah, because I'm I've gone from talking about Nash every song. <laughs> not I don't really mention Nash. Yeah. I don't mention Nash. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? I'll say you back is this, you back is yo. Yeah. I'm talking every tune I was talking about goes back. Every song, <laughs> back this, back that, all the time. Now, if you hear back, it's because I'm saying I'm even going back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not going back. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But really and truly, yeah, you can hear it, don't you? Yeah. But I prefer it. I feel as long as you, I'm so at you peace. Prefer, you prefer it. A hundred and eighty-five percent. Do you know what I mean? When I listen back to the old songs and that, I'm thinking to myself, "Oh, turn this up." Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, now it's it's wonderful, man. And um, I think the other thing I wanted to touch on was in terms of the melodies and the flows in that sense, because that's something that, you know, you've always been, you know, you've set the bar there, you've always been able to do that well. Um, how did you get to that point where you developed it that well? What kind of things were you, not necessarily doing, but were there influences? Were there people that you were trying to sound like? Like, how did that, how did you come to, you know, doing the melody? My issue was I didn't want to sound like anyone in it. So what yeah. happened was I used to go to the studio. Oh, this sounds nuts. So for example, so I'm at the mic, beat playing, and I'll do this. And what I would do, I I'll wait and I'll wait for the part to catch my ear. I'll chop it. Yeah. And I'll chop this bit. Mm. And then I'll chop this bit. And then it will all come together and make a song. Yeah. If I can show you, can I quickly grab my Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yo, let me get, not the, not the one with the, that one. I'm gonna show you. Do you remember Bim Bam? Abidi Bim Bam, Bidi Bim Bam. Yeah. So that song, yeah, I did exactly the same thing with yeah. that song. Yeah. When you actually hear, well, when the I hear it out, yeah. This is how. This is how Back then, this is when we weren't even using Spotify. We were trying to use different ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not really saying words. <laughs> You know the way I used to train my voice to try and do this? Literally, I know this guy's just doing this. And then. Fast, 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 fast. Nah. You get me? So that's basically what it is. Nah. <laughs> my life is a joke. Hi. Cool. <laughs> okay, so now you're here. Now you're here. In this capacity, what would you say to younger artists, perhaps, that want to hone their versatility in that sense? So, so <coughs> in terms of, you know, you know, bars can be there if they want to, but having that melodic side as well, what, would you advise them to do anything in particular? Is there any things that, like, helped you? I mean, obviously, you mm -hmm. didn't want to sound like anybody else, so mm -hmm. that was your mindset, but mm -hmm. would you kind of say the similar for kind of people coming through? Yeah, I think it's, I think it's better to find your own sound because it, that way... You will then start realizing people saying, "Yo, is that is that Ash?" Or if I tell James from down the road, like, go studio. Don't go on your phone while you go. This is something that I used to do. So I used to go studio, not go on my phone, land there with just the beat. No one's influenced me this whole morning. What's gonna come out? Do you know what I mean? I'm not talking. Don't check your social media. You don't need to. Just go studio. And when you get there, it's like you feel so fresh minded. So it's not like. You've told somebody, oh, yo, today I'm going to go on the mic. And say, <laughs> Why are you doing that? So when you land there, you're like, Just see. oh, maybe I shouldn't do that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? As long as you, don't, you don't need no help. Go in there and have fun. That was one thing I missed out on. Mm. Like when I, after a while, I, I, we stopped having fun. It just came one job. So it's like you're going to the and you're, you're not even trying to, not really trying to be there. What, what, suck, what, sucked the life, what sucked the life out of it then? People, man. I think there's too much people involved. I mm. think like as the more people got involved, is the more people I felt strained to have to mm. perform for mm. or take care of, or if I don't do this, they won't get that. How come? But how come there were that many people in the first place? Is it a thing where it's like, oh, like yeah, guys, come through, come through, come through, or like, what's your, what's your? Not mindset for me, there? you know. Do you know what it is? I think if I'm in, well, honestly, yeah, like Luke's very popular, 
So a lot of people gravitate to him heavily. So we'll be one place and then everyone just just be there because that's Luke's vibe, do you know what I mean? He was a, that's 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 who he was. He was just that he was yeah. just that guy. Yeah. So obviously a lot of people gravitate. Me, I'm more like to the point where like even like family and friends might think, all oh, right, why well, can we not bring man around? I'm like, bro, I haven't got nothing to offer you. If I bring you around here, I'm bringing you into false reality. So I'm not, I'm not on that. I even had to explain to my family, friends. I'm like, yo, the reason why I haven't sucked you in like that is because this is false reality. Yeah, I'm gonna give you something I'm not even happy with myself. Don't make no sense. Real talk. So in terms of the rest of the year, mm. what can we expect from you? <clears throat> um, well, the EP. I might. I have to look at my manager good though. Okay. <laughs> I might just you never know. Mm. I might just drop I'm not gonna say leak because that's controversial. Mm. I might just <laughs> drop some um like another small little satin. satin. A satin, Carl. Like a Christmas gift. A satin, yeah. If not then early next year or something. Yeah. Do you know what I mean, but yeah, it's done already. Oh, okay. But yeah. I've told I keep saying this in everywhere I go. I've told everyone the name already. So you start just saying it's in you. I've said it. I've shown you. It's been in your face. You're looking at around the room. <laughs> I think it's going to be yellow jacket. <laughs> that, um, it's been, yeah, it's been in your face. So it's, mm. oh, I was about to give you where it was. But no, no, it's cool. I'll let you figure out. The name's there. Okay. Sutton. It's a Sutton. Yeah. That's fine. I love that. That is that is pretty cool. The other thing is where can people find you and what you do? What platforms? Um, so on socials I'm still a lot of ash or a lot of underscore ash or a lot of ash. Yeah. Um YouTube is Ash La. Um Ash everywhere. Yes. <laughs> cool. All that's left to do is thank you, to be fair. Love Thank that. you guys for having me. Been man. a vibe, you've been a vibe. And that is that we're done but no because before we wrap up you know what i'm gonna say and i'm still gonna tell you anyway put if you're on youtube pause this video the like is there so like that subscribe that just remember that's how it was come make sure that you're commenting if whether it's ash whether it's seven whether it's ep whether it's success i want to see those comments there because this was a great conversation and we've been having great conversations so reflect that in the comments thank you we are on Apple Music and Spotify, where you will just so graciously give us those five stars. Thank you. <laughs> um, and yes, follow us on the at the RGS podcast on Instagram and TikTok for behind the scenes clips from this episode, from previous episodes and episodes to come. We've got chart recommendations, song updates, all that good stuff. So follow us. And um, we even did the t TikTok. Is that TikTok going to be on? the thing today yeah no we've actually got some some live tiktoks for you guys still. so yeah <laughs> um and yeah catch it catch, catch it catch him with us on that and that is that this has been another episode of rgs it's been good vibes so say less don't stress and god bless peace you are now listening to redefine gospel sounds Yo, what are you guys saying? It's quick fire questions time. We've got Ash in the hot seat. Choose. Snow. Yeah, there's no messing about, to be fair. You look ready, so I have to ask you, are you ready? No, but let's go. No worries. We're going to go anyway. Three, two, one. First favourite Bible verse? Um, Jeremiah 29, 11. Mm. Next, a song that you're loving right now? Um, oh, what's it called? Staying Alive, um, DJ Khaled, Drake. Logan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Next, um, your biggest lesson on your faith journey so far? Don't let go until God blesses you. Mm. Mm. Next, an artist that you'd like to work with in the future? That I would like to work with? Yep. Dre... I'm going to say Ed Sheeran. Okay, cool. Next is your favourite song that you've <coughs> released so far? Oh, Unfinished Business. <laughs> with good measure with good measure yes. come um next is your favorite moment in music so far um well bringing home money to my parents literally mm. that was my that was my biggest like oh yeah yeah that's nice <laughs> um, next is 
if you were to put me on a song can be anything so you, your go-to song recommendation basically what would you put me on that's already out yep mm. oh this sorry sorry this can be any this can be either your, your one of your songs or any song if i was to put you on a yeah song. like if i just came yo like bro what you been listening to put me on oh i've got yeah, you yeah, i got yeah, you yeah. got you i would put you on to I'm just listening to unreleased stuff. This is not good, you know. <laughs> 5K is just it's exploding me with good music. Okay. Um, I would put you on to... Kai, that's unreleased as well. This is not good. Okay, you know what? I'll put you on to... <laughs> Lecrae, Happy Music. What's the other guys? You know what you know man about it? Huh? Limo Blaze. Oh, the yes. gyro, the gyro one. Gyro one. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll put you onto that still. Fairs. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Next is something that you'd like Christians to do better. Mm. Something that I would like Christians to do better. Mm -hmm. As a whole. Be real. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Yeah, no, I love that. Love Be that. Real, yeah. uh, and lastly, um, if you had um, God right next to you, what would you ask him? What do you want me to do next? Yes. Cool. Ash, thank you very much. Thank you for having me, man. Cool. Love that. Officially done. Cool.